Ohio Department of Health is opening a clinic in East Palestine on Tuesday at noon for people who have medical questions or concerns. We are also hearing from the CEO of Norfolk Southern. He promises the company is determined to stay in East Palestine until the community is made whole. It's been more than two weeks since the train derailment in East Palestine and 12 days since the controlled burn that released toxic chemicals into the atmosphere. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw stands behind the decision. I think we did what we needed to do in order to prevent an uncontrolled explosion in the evening. Shaw, along with company consultants, Department of Defense, the National Guard, as well as state and local officials, all signed off on the move. Shaw says the company hired consultants to do air and water quality tests in conjunction with the EPA. He also says all air and municipal water tests have come back clean, but those with private wells should drink bottled water. Private well testing, we need to continue to, to monitor and test the wells and wait for those tells, those test results to come back. A reporter for CNN asked Shaw if the soil was tested before putting a new rail line down, but he did not give him a direct answer. We worked with the Ohio EPA to make sure that it was safe okay, to so operate that, in that area. So none of the soil underneath the rail lines is contaminated? I, di I didn't say that. What I'm saying is we worked with the Ohio EPA on safe operations and safety for the community. Shaw still wouldn't say whether the soil under the replaced rail line is bad. He only promised to do whatever is required with the Ohio EPA. Shaw added the contaminated water is being taken out of state and the contaminated soil will be taken to an appropriate landfill. On Sunday, Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown went on CNN to discuss keeping Norfolk Southern accountable. They have made promises, my job, and I talked to a Republican Congressman Bill Johnson. I was there with him. Um, we are working together on this to make sure that Norfolk Southern lives up to everything it needs to do. It's way more than a $1,000 check per person. And we will continue to keep you updated as this story develops. And you can always find our continuous coverage of the derailment on our website, fox19now.com, or our free mobile news app.